Pretty Roll here and as you know I am back with another video. So today is going to be an all thing cash envelopes. If you watch my budgeting videos you will notice that I have never ever use the cash envelope and this video is pretty much going to tell you my reasons why I don't use it but it's also going to tell you a few benefits of if you should use cash envelopes but I will say this do not let this video deter you away from at least trying the cash envelope system I'm a true advocate of don't knock it until you try it I tried it I didn't even make it to the bank to put cash in the envelope <laughs> so that that's that. If you have the time and dedication to do it, then, you know, go for it. But as for me, it wasn't in my best interest or it just wasn't fitting into my schedule. For the people who don't know what a cash envelope system is, a cash envelope system is a way to track every single dollar you have in each budget category every month. So pretty much at the beginning of every month or every pay period, however you decide to do your budget, you'll go to the bank and you'll get that particular amount of cash out for each category. So you have categories for groceries, gas, fun money, beauty, eating out, and pretty much things of that sort. So then what you would do is every time you go to the store, you would take those cash envelopes with you. When you get to the register, you'll get the envelope that you need or the category that you use pertaining to what you spent and pull that cash out, hand it to the cashier, make sure that you get a receipt and then when you get back in your car or home, you record that information so you know how much money is left over in that cash envelope. Then at the end of the month or pay period, like I said, whichever one you choose to do, you either roll over the balance in those envelopes or you put that money back in the bank and put it in towards your savings or towards your debt. It's honestly whichever you choose, whichever you prefer, just your preference. I will say that this system is great if you honestly need help with regulating your spending because it's like once you're out of cash, you're done. So say you're at the grocery store and you know, you're like, all right, I have a hundred dollars to spend. You're more conscious of what you're putting in your basket or you're adding up these items as you go along. Like everything that you pick up, like, okay, this costs X amount of dollars, let me add this. And you know what you need to put back so that you won't go over that category because that's all the cash that you really have. So if it's such a great system, then why don't I use it? Very good question. But the answer to that is pretty much everything isn't for everybody and the cash envelope system isn't for me i've been there like i said in the beginning i tried it didn't get past going to the bank so i left it alone i will say this before you go out on etsy and buy those beautiful cash envelopes just spend maybe five dollars in making your own that's honestly where i started started out and i'm glad that i did because i would have wasted my money if i bought anything from etsy because they would have been sitting or i would have just given them away so in all seriousness there's about five reasons why i don't use the cash envelope system and the number one reason is because i am pretty much terrified of getting robbed and this is serious. I usually put aside $400 every month in my spending account and just thinking about walking around with 400 plus dollars in my purse, in my wallet. For me, it's it's pretty much a, a bit extreme. I've never been robbed before other than somebody breaking into my car one New Year's Eve, I believe. Yep. New Year's Eve, someone broke into my car and they stole some stuff. I don't remember everything that they stole, but the number one thing I do remember was my best friend's makeup because she had her entire makeup bag in my car. So just from that one experience, I don't like to carry cash around. But if it was to happen, all they would be able to take is credit cards and debit cards, which can be canceled at any time. And 
being that I'm with the credit union and I have great credit cards, all I have to do is call my credit card company and tell them that my things have been stolen and I'll get whatever money that has been spent on those cards. Instead of being out a full $400. But then there's the question of how about you just carry what you need when you go out and that's honestly a good tactic but when you're forgetful like me it's not going to work there's been plenty of times where i've left my wallet at home thank god for apple pay thank god for the 50 million food apps that i have on my phone because i've been to work and i realized that i don't have a wallet and i didn't bring lunch so i just order from an app that already has my information stored and get it delivered to my job easy whereas if i carry cash i honestly would just be shit out of luck hence why i love my debit and credit cards the next reason that i don't use the cash envelope system is because i think it is time consuming so basically like i said in the beginning you get to the register you have to find the envelope that you need you have to pull the cash out you have to count it you have to give it to the cashier the cashier gives you change back you have to put everything up and then go about your day and then after you're done with your transaction either when you get in your car when you get home you have to record it so that you know how much cash you have left for the next time that you go out whereas i can just pull out my card swipe it put in my pen or to select credit and call it a day so in that case don't forget your receipts because if you forget your receipt you don't know how much money you spent as if you use your debit or credit card all you have to do is pull up your bank account or your credit card statement and voila the amount is there so pretty much looking at my bank account or my credit card statement is easier for me because technically i don't have to do it that same day a lot of times i just do it at the end of the week or at the end of the pay period um, i'm very conscious about how much money i do spend so a lot of times i never really go over my, my 400 dollars limit that i do give myself next reason i'm lazy i don't like breaking up my budget into the 50 million categories so i combine them all and i pretty much use an average that's how i came up with 400 dollars a pay period which gives me 800 dollars a month to spend and within this spending money i use it on groceries gas my hair my nails my fun money my makeup my whatever else i want to buy everything is combined into one big ass category and to be honest if i did use the cash envelope system i know myself enough to know that i will pull from one category to fund another if i didn't have the money it's kind of no reason to actually use it if you're gonna be pulling from each and every category that you have instead of sticking to what you're supposed to spend so for me it's okay with everything in one category because sometimes i don't spend as much money in one category as i thought i would spend so let's say for instance my hair i haven't been really going out to get my hair done my cousin has actually been doing my hair so i don't spend as much money on my hair and being that i'm working from home 95 percent of the time i'm not using gas as much gas as i used to so that's just more money for me to spend on whatever else i need for instance being that we were quarantined we're spending more money on groceries and food delivery services the money that i didn't spend on my hair and my nails and gas contributed to groceries and eating out so my favorite reason why i do not use the cash envelope system is because i get cash back on my credit card although i have a spending account which i transfer 400 dollars to every pay period i use my credit card to make almost every single purchase gas groceries going to wawa to buy a dollar and 50 cent drink i swipe my credit card because i get cash back so far this year i've almost gotten back 200 dollars in cash back because of my purchases this is something that you can't get when you're using the cash envelope system 
So by not using the cash envelope system, I've earned almost $200 this year. With me using my credit card, I always pay it off. So at the end of every pay period, I transfer what to my spending account to my credit card so that I don't accrue any interest, accrue any late fees or anything. At the end of every pay period, my balance goes down to zero. I just use it to get the cash back. And last but not least, online shopping. You cannot online shop if you use cash envelopes. Well, I'm not gonna say that you can't online shop because necessarily you can, especially if you have a credit card or a bank card and there's money on it. But it's very tedious for you to say, okay, you know, I found this online and now I have to go back to the bank to put this money in the bank in order to cover those expenses that I spent online. I think that it's pretty much just a waste of time when I can just transfer the money to my credit card after I finish buying everything I need to online. I am truly in Amazon and online grocery shopper. Even before COVID, I ordered my groceries. At first, I deemed it as lazy, and then once I did it for the first time, I realized how much time it saved me. So, I kinda made it a habit. Someone else goes to pick out my groceries, all I have to do is sit in my car, they put them in the trunk, I take them home, and I put them up. That gives me more time to study, that gives me more time to make YouTube videos, that gives me more time to cook gives me more time to sleep so that's something that i no longer deemed as lazy once i did it i now view it as more of a convenience because it's one less thing that i have to do so not only with me shopping online with amazon and buying my groceries but i also get more cash back when i'm shopping at other places that's included in rakuten I will leave my referral code down below. If you don't know what Rakuten is, it is a cashback site where it pretty much ranges from 1% to maybe 15% cash back with certain stores. Filing my taxes, I got about $15 back and just filing my taxes every year. They always run a special with TurboTax or H&R Block. I can't remember which one it is, but free money or money back for actually making a purchase. Who honestly does not want that? So those are my reasons for not using the cash envelope system. Like I said in the beginning, don't let my opinions of the cash envelope system deter you from at least trying it. Um, like I said, I think there's probably millions of videos out here to show you actually how to make your own personal cash envelopes before you go out here and buy some to save you money just in case you don't like the system either. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my take on why I don't use the cash envelope system but why it also can be good for you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to help this channel out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!